Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris here. So today we're going to be talking about Dolly V2 12B, which is Databricks' uh, trained, fine-tuned model uh, that is fantastic. Uh, I have some example queries here where we have a winner and then maybe not a winner and then another winner. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we got this going, what it's all about. Uh, but I'm just going to go through these sample queries first. So we have, first of all, I gave a passage from Wikipedia, and then I asked Dolly to you know, tell me how far away the moon was from the Earth, and it gave the correct answer, which is fantastic. That's one of the tasks that it was fine-tuned on, so it makes sense. I asked it which of the following is an animal, truck, or llama. It did think truck, which is wrong, but that's okay. And then I asked it why is the sky blue, and we got basically a correct answer. So I am really hyped to show you guys what this model can do. And as you can notice, this thing is running on 26.4 gigabytes of GPU RAM. So you can run it in Colab with a Colab Pro subscription. All right, so let's get into it. First things first, Dolly is Databricks' answer to kind of the LLM craze that's going on right now. You know, in terms of you have your Alpaca Laura, then you have your Llama models, you have your GBT for alls. So Databricks is trying to get into the game. Uh, there's two big things in this announcement. One is Dolly V2, which has already been trained. Uh, it's based off of an Eleuther AI model. And the second, and I think more hype thing, is the Databricks Dolly 15K data set, which is a data set comprised of human-created instructions, which means that it was not synthetically generated, which means it is in commercial use territory, which is fantastic. Right now, all the other data sets can't be really used for commercial uh, use because they're synthetically generated, but Dolly uh, can. So let's go through it, and then I'm going to show you how we got the demo going. So first things first, they like to brag about the fact that this was trained for very little money. In practice, it is going to take some hardware to get this going. It's a pretty large model, and the training process they used does require some hefty compute. So keep that in mind. First things first, I think the most exciting part of this announcement is actually the new data set. So the other data sets that we have, like Alpaca, like the GPT-4 Alpaca version, they are created by GPT or GPT-4. And what that means, OpenAI has a policy that you can't use their data to train something that competes with them. So you can't really create your, like your own chat GPT with that synthetic data. So having another human curated data set means that we have an instruct data set that isn't restricted in the same way that uh, you, you, you'll find your alpaca data set to be. So that's very hype, very exciting. So basically they just got their workers to do it. Databricks is a huge company uh, and they're ever growing. So they set up a little contest and they got a bunch of people to get in there, get labeling and get creating and we have this data set at the end of the day, and it's awesome. So there's a bunch of different subtasks that the 15K data set has. And, you know, we have some example here. We have an example here of the open QA, which is kind of a just a question. And then the response is generated from that question. And then we have some uh, brainstorming. So Databricks really did go through a lot of trouble to ensure that it covered a broad variety of categories of instructions and, you know, the performance kind of outlines that that had a significant impact. They fine-tuned Luther AI's Pythia 12B in order to get the Dolly V2 12B model, which they fine-tuned, of course, using their Instruct data set. They claim that it is better than the original Dolly, which was trained on the actual synthetic data set alpaca and so that's pretty exciting right like again this isn't to say that this is like a high knowledge model it is to say that it's a good model at following instructions and that's kind of a critical point it's not going to be able to tell you information about everything because it doesn't know everything 12b is kind of a small model but it is absolutely able to follow instructions well and so when we go through the demo again with more time, we'll see what I mean there. Like it, it follows instructions very well and that's what it's supposed to do. And to wrap it up, basically Databricks is saying here, this is not meant to be soda. 
state of the art. This is just meant to be something that is totally open source and provides a groundwork or framework for people to use and kind of ex take their own spin on and direction on in order to kind of, you know, have better access to these tools that are right now locked behind closed doors. So really want to give a shout out to Databricks for doing this. It's very important. Anything that helps us as a open source community move closer and closer to the state of the art is better in my mind. So of course we have the repository where you can find the data. In order to get the data, you just have to go to data here and then they've got the Dolly 15K uh, JSON L there that you can uh, take at your leisure. Other than that, the training information still refers to Dolly 1. So they're going to be updating it with Dolly 2 information soon, but uh, you know, it's not there yet. Uh, hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it's there. And because they're using that Eleuther AI base model that they fine tuned, Hugging Faces Transformers library already works uh, with this. So both auto model for causal LM and the pipeline already work with it. So it, it's going to work right out of the box. They also have the, uh, you know, B float 16, if you don't have a lot of memory and that's what I'm running for our demo today. So as you can see, it's available on the model hub, uh, on hugging face dolly dash V2 dash 12 B. It's fantastic. And again, this is available to you, you can download it and put it in your uh, pipelines today. And I'll show you how to do that in the collab. So I've put together this simple collab notebook where you can download the dependencies and then play with the model. You will need a premium collab subscription for this because it does require around 25 gigabytes of GPU RAM. First thing we need to do is just install our dependencies. Once we have our dependencies, we're good to set up the pipeline. So as you can see, we just use Transformers Pipeline. We pass in the task, which is text generation. We pass in the model, which is Dolly V2 12B. We give it the torch D type. This is to reduce the precision so that we can load it with less GPU memory. We need to include this trust remote code parameter because the pipeline code is remote. And then we're gonna let our accelerate library automatically map all the memory to where it needs to go. So now that we have that, we can run some inference. And the first example is an example of pulling the answer out of context, right? So we have this context here that tells us how far the moon is from the earth. And when we ask it, how far is the moon from the earth please keep your answer short. It gives us the correct answer, which it just pulls out of context. And that's exactly what we want it to do, right? We want it to be good at following instructions. And this is an example of that. Which of the following is an animal, truck or llama? Yeah, sure. It answers incorrectly. Trucks are not animals, probably. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a biologist. Maybe there is a animal called the truck but uh, seems unlikely. The idea here though, is that again, it is going to give us an answer based on what we're telling it. The thing it's missing is knowledge, not uh, instruction following. And then we have this open-ended question of why is the sky blue? And it gives us a relatively straightforward answer. Again, this isn't a contest for how accurate or state of the art it is. It is showing us that this kind of architecture can be done relatively cheaply and answer in-domain questions very well and follow instructions very well. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can, get into Dolly, play around with it. It's really cool. The only complaint I have with it is that we have a lot of name collision now because of Dolly, Dolly 2, and OpenAI's Dolly and Dolly 2 models, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. All right, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.